Well, it's been five long, long months, but finally we have hockey. Welcome to Clan TV for Brayhead's first action of the season as they take on Italian franchise Asiago in the Aladdin Cup. Big expectations this season after the clan reached the playoff finals for the first time in their history. A few names have left in that time in the shape of Ed McGrain and all-time top goal scorer Ash Goldie, but in their place are some big, hard-hitting, powerful units. Head coach Ryan Finity is back. More season tickets sold than ever before, almost double the amount. We've even got the best DJ in the league. The Purple Army expects. Welcome back. Asiago Hockey. And here and we are. First the game of the season, first race off of the season. And it's the first leg of the Aladdin Cup. First of two legs, which will be taking place at Brayhead over this weekend. Brayhead, of course, won it last season. Want to get off to a flying start. Your officials tonight are Dean Smith, Pavel Hallis, Ali Flockhart. These early matches so important for a team finding its form. Still no goals, seven minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock in this second period of this first tie of the Aladdin Cup. Clan fans get a little bit frustrated, they are really wanting a bit more action as Asiago reached full strength again. Little turnover here, this could be dangerous. Clan really having to defend here. Great goaltending. Here we are, punches coming out. It's been threatening to happen all game. It's been plenty of roughhousing. Hasn't actually led to a fist fight yet. And here we are. First punch of it again, Harper's furious. He's not content to let it go. It's the referee, Dean Smith. Decides how he's gonna see that. It's a scramble that ended up. They're still uncontent to let it go. Clan fans handing out the abuse to the Asiago man. Way ahead now. Another chance to look at this defensive side. Meyer gets it clear. And the race is on now. Keith racing for it. The captain will make it. Lovely aggression. Holds on to the puck again. Holds off three men in total there. Loses out in the end. Does Asiago make a break? This looks a little bit dangerous. Four on three. Four on three. Borelli checks back inside. Cuts inside. Nice puck work. And there it is. The first goal of the game goes to the visiting team, Asiago. Asiago on the power play. Goal one into the lead. No surprise really, Chris Frank's been at the centre of a, a few tussles so far in this game. Strazi Bosco will pick that up. But Asiago, Asiago now with control. Great tenacious work there from Arson. Doesn't quite get the, it's just deserves. Asiago pushing forward now. Plenty of clan defensemen though is standing in his way. Looking for a pass, looking for a pass. Cuts it back inside. Find the goal right in front of the net. And it was a little reverse cutback. Took all the clan's defensemen totally by surprise. The slap shot straight past Kyle Jones. Just on his right hand side, low into the corner of the net. Well, that's really disappointed the clan fans. Atmosphere got a little bit flat there. They were hoping for a little bit better. Really hoping for clan to push on and take this game to the Italian side. Receives two minutes for holding, both penalties time. Plan now, three minutes remaining in this third period. Really need another goal to get back in this game. Certainly on tonight's performance, I wouldn't say two goals is beyond them tomorrow night, but it would be great just to have that extra goal heading into that second leg. They've shown plenty of fight. Here's an opportunity, puck passes out wide. Just can't quite control it as a clan swarm around him. Who will be first to that puck? It was the clan man. 
But now here's a real opportunity. Lovely little, lovely little pass into the danger zone. And it was the Italian man who was there just to tuck it away into the bottom corner. That's what Clan haven't been doing tonight. They haven't been able to get that, that second touch onto the puck after the shot's been fired, that second little deflection that makes it all so difficult for goalers to deal with. So as it stands, three goals to Asiago. And you have to say, judging from the first and second periods, it is a bit of a surprise that the Italian team have come out and stuck three past Kyle Jones. Wouldn't really have seen that coming after the first and second periods, but here we are with two and a half minutes left on the clock. Clan really need to go searching for this now, really chase this tie. Kevin DeVertilio and by number 18, Lane Omar. A little bit of a miscue has led to a Clan opportunity here. Players jumping and climbing everywhere. It's Arsene that'll pick it up. Puck goes out wide. Nice control from Harper. Harper attacks it inside. Here's a real chance! And it's there! Juan scores their first goal of the season! To the rapturous applause of the home fans. And it was a lovely move. It was all, all about Arsene at the back. Passed it out wide to Haywood, who tucked it into the centre for Esders to finally tuck away. And what a lovely finish it was too. That's what we've been seeing. That's what we've been needing. That shot into the box isn't enough. We need that little deflected effort to take it past this Italian goaler who's had a great game, but we haven't been challenging enough. The minute we do, there you have it. Clan goal, 3-1. Come on, Clan, give us another one. Two minutes remaining. Can Clan give us another goal before this third period finishes. As I said before, there will be no extra time even if they manage to get another two goals. Oh, Chris Frank in amongst the trouble here again. The gloves are off. Flies in with the right hand hook. Cuts inside. Looking to unleash that right hand again and again and again. Right hand after right hand. Time of the goal, 57 minutes and 58 seconds. Just outside. And goal once again, scored by 17. Just outside of the shot there. Chris Frank has him on the floor. The two men are on the ice. And the officials are struggling to split the two men up here. The fans are on their feet. Chris Frank takes the applause from the home support. He landed right hook after right hook. He's letting you know, that's what it's going to be about from him this season. More of the same. And the Italian man looked certainly stunned. Big smile on Chris Frank's face as he takes his seat in the penalty box. Well, 11 seconds left to go in this third and final period of the first leg of the Aladdin Cup. We will, we will. 11 seconds to go, Clan pick up the puck. Can they get one last opportunity in five seconds? Asiago will just see this out now with one second left to go. The game finishes. Three goals to one to Asiago, the Italian team from Serie A. In the end, come out. You have to say, what are the winners? Judging by their third period performance. Clan, however, have shown some bright spots. Certainly showing the physical side this season. The tie certainly isn't over. We'll be back here tomorrow night for the second leg. Two goals certainly not beyond this tough physical clan side. Make sure you get your seats early. Fantastic house here tonight. Let's hope the clan can pull something out the hat tomorrow night here and pick up that Aladdin Cup. So a disappointing result, but certainly some bright spots there. What have you taken from that first performance? Yeah, obviously you nobody, know, you never want to lose in your own building. But like I said, I, I saw a lot of positives out there. You know, I think uh, for two thirds of that game we controlled it. We outshot them 19 to three in the in the second period, and then uh, conditioning I think became a factor in that third. I thought guys were guys were tired and guys were uh, you can tell the fatigue level or, or it was pretty high. 
you know, and that'll come. That's what these games are for, for yeah. guys to get back in game shape. And, the, and the, honestly, that's 100% of what these, these exhibition games are for, mm. is to give the guys a chance to get back into game mode, you know, before the, uh, the real season kicks off uh, next week. But saying that, we're down one nothing. We win tomorrow, go into overtime, and, and, and try to secure an Aladdin Cup win, and that's what we're doing here. Uh, and that, and that's, our, that's our goal tomorrow. But a lot of positives, a lot more positives than negatives. Certainly loads of attempts on goal. I mean, an incredible shot count. And it also says a lot, obviously, that the uh, man of the match was their goaler. Anyway, that says a lot. Was it? Was there a problem with the kind of the type of shooting we're doing? We really a lot of shots going straight down the throat of the, the goaler. Is that something that comes as well with practice um, five months yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, I think right now all you're looking to do is create chances. You mm. know, and and these guys are rusty. They haven't played in four or five months. And you know, I mean, like if we're creating, we're creating chances. It means we're doing we're doing the right. We're we're making the right plays up the ice. We're doing. We're, uh, positionally, we're we're in position to, to make the to create these chances, and and that's all you can ask for right now. Obviously, you know, not every not every goalie is going to have that kind of night, and yeah. you know, and and special teams were a big a big factor tonight. A lot of penalties, and I felt our, our PK was pretty strong. I thought our power play, obviously, we haven't worked at it at all. We're kind of throwing out a mixture of guys, and it's a specialty unit that that, that requires a lot of attention, and and we've we've not paid attention to it at all. And in the in the two three practices we've had together, I mean. Uh, Stefan Meyer skated tonight, today for the first time. Right. You know, he flew in late last night, and so yeah. So, but you know, we uh, we definitely don't like to lose. Definitely don't like to lose in front of our fans. But I thought we put a pretty entertaining game on. I thought we played pretty physical. Uh, obviously, Chris Frank sends a sends a bit of a message at the end there, and yep. and uh, we carry that into into tomorrow. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a different team than we were last year. Uh, I'm happy with the chances we created, but we do want to be an offensive team, and and you know, we just need to to bury our chances. You know what? I think uh, we, we saw a lot of good things out there, and we'll look to build on that tomorrow and, and take it into a good week of practice and a good week of preparation for uh, Belfast. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great things on, on the ice, but how important was it for you to have a big full house here tonight? There was a, a real atmosphere and a sense of expectations. I mean, you've been uh, telling these players what it's like. You've been getting them here. How important was that for you that it matched up to that on the first night? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, uh, you forget what it's like. It's pretty amazing. You know, when you, you come out there and you, you don't expect that many people to turn up and, mm -hmm. and spend their hard earned cash to, to, to come watch us play exhibition. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it was a good feeling. You can tell that the uh, the other team were looking around kind of kind of going, holy cow. And, yeah. you know, and that, that's the reputation we're building here is it, it's a great place to play. We got a great fan base. They, they're, they're loud, they're passionate, mm -hmm. you know, and it's an exciting building to play in and that's something we built last year and it looks like we're going to carry it on this year now it's up to us to, to get the results to make sure that uh, we earn their that we yeah. earn their money and they come back but you know as far as these two games and, and this weekend this is just about getting the boys back on the ice you know working through the rust and, and getting out there but at the same time we want to we want to put a good show on too yeah. well matt first game back then how does that feel to you back on the ice then it's been a while yeah i mean it was uh it was a feeling out process, I think, for everybody. We had, you know, a lot of guys that got in just within the last couple of days and, you know, only three or four practices. We skated this morning and, and you know, guys kind of get their legs. I, I felt like we were good, you know, at first, especially the first two periods we took over, um, you know, shot them pretty badly. We just couldn't buy any goals. And, and in the third period, I think we ran out of gas a little bit. They played last night, uh, which, I mean, that was their first game as well, but it gets a game under their legs. And, you know, I think for tomorrow, we want to come out hard right away and, and uh, get on them. Yeah, how, how hard is that? Is that a real worry at the start of the season? People haven't quite got their skating legs back. You said a few yeah. injuries kind of there. Is it just kind of key to get through these games yeah, and make I, sure no one's hurt? I think that's the focus is, you know, get, get out there, get your legs. Um, you know, we'll work on systems. We'll work on stuff as we get, get going here next week. And, you know, with our power play, look at how many power play opportunities we had tonight. You know, that's important. We want to score on those. But yeah. But, uh, you know, it just you don't have enough time right now, you know, in the preseason to, to work, put the extra time in on that. So I'm sure that, you know, Finner's going to put us through the next week and, and uh, you know, you work out the kinks. But I think for everybody, you just want to get out, get your feet under you and, and uh, uh, you know, work off of that. Yeah. What about that, though? What a welcome back from the fans. They turned out in big numbers for the first game back of the season. Yeah, I mean, it, expecting that? No, I mean, it was exciting. I think everybody had kind of told us before we came that, you know, great fans here and, and um, you know, very supportive of the team. And, and of course, I mean, I know it's the same, you know, all over the world that you're trying to get a game going, yeah. uh, you know, at the end of August. And, you know, people are still in that kind of summer mode. And, and uh, this was great tonight. And they were enthusiastic. And I think they were really pushing us, you know, the first two periods, especially when we were just chance after chance after chance. I think the fans were really supporting us. And, you know, it's important that uh, we come out and give them, you know, 
the same effort tomorrow, but, but hopefully get a little bit of luck on our side and score a few. Hi. So how are you feeling about this tie then now? Tomorrow night, back, same place. Is there still an importance? I know it's difficult because people are finding their feet, but is there a real drive to try and turn these games around? It's well, absolutely. I mean, it gives you, you know, if we have another six days off before we open the regular season at home, yeah. we want the fans to, to leave here with a good feeling. We want the boys to, to leave with a good feeling, um, to come back to work next week and, and, uh, and get ready for Friday night. Fantastic, because there's plenty of opportunities, wasn't there? Absolutely. Two goals is Yeah, there's nothing, it's especially with the power play opportunities, and we'll get that sorted out. And I know, you know we definitely have the, the personnel in the dressing room that that'll, that'll work itself out. Oh, fantastic. Thank Good. you very much. Thank you.